it's the water whipping in this bitch, my nigga. In the state let's, today, we let's, gonna let's take a minute. break for us. Hold on, no, 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 wait. First, first of all, we gotta get like we gotta get into some serious shit. What up, man? My man, my man, man in the state, snake in the building. Just walked shit. in a building. Yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. So look, man. So we had that. You know, we had the. Oh shit! Oh, shit. He, oh, come shit. He, he come bearing gifts. He come bearing gifts. Yeah. Bob in his Brother. shit. Grizzly gang. What up? All right, so look, man, we had the um, we had the dude, the Congress, the the white dude, shoot the Congress dude, the Congress people yesterday. Here we go, cause you, you, let, you, let, if let you, you gonna report news, don't you gotta be accurate. Mhm. Hey, we got hit. Oh, oh, he brought two bottles of Henny. Funny, cause here. I just ran and bought a bottle for you, and you bought me a bottle. That's love. That's, That's love. love. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. He's the only one that's ever done that. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, real shit. Yeah. Oh. This, yeah. this, this, this right here is protocol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my yeah. man, Mr. Yeah. Water Whipping. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's lit. That's lit. Yeah. All right, so so go, tell, the, tell the story, Joy. What the, Congress, the, the Congress. No, you brought the story up. Okay, so all right. So it was, a, it was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch news. I don't know. I don't know. Are you talking about Alexandria Virginia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alexandria Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and some police officers in a con- like in a Congress, like a Congress baseball game or some shit. I heard about it. Yeah, <clears throat> like kill uh killed one dude and like shot like five or six other people. Dang, what was it? Really? And all all because he was just so happy un- unhappy with Trump. Oh, and Whoa. Trump is uh Trump is uh he under investigation for obstruction of justice. Uh, and some to, some do it Russia and shit. Um. What else we got going on? Man, we got. Uh, there was another joint I had to say too. I I totally forgot that quick. I ain't smoked no weed all day, y'all. Mm, that's so, probably bro, why you forgot. My motherfucking nigga, man, Mr. Water Whipping, man. Oh, he just came in the crash. Yeah, he did. He showed that he yeah, was yeah, yeah, out here. Yeah, he, since we hit, since we hit with you, him, since we hit with him, we might as well introduce him, man. This is my guy, man. Known him for a minute, for a minute, man, Mr. Water Whipping. Uh, Mister, we out here personally. Yes, sir. My God, Interstate Snake, and what a lot of people don't know is, man, for real, for real, this nigga is a mean ass motherfucking mechanic. Dude, <laughs> a word? Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't, you yeah. can't just be rap hustling out here, man. I'm your favorite yeah, hustler, favorite man. hustler, He's, man. He, he gets I got it, an auto mechanic it. shop too. Our Lord, U.S. Yeah. Auto Center. Yo, oh so. really? Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Well, after this show, can you look at my brakes? <laughs> <laughs> When I hit the break, look, when I, I hit say, the break, it's going all the way to the floor. When I say my guy came through in the cut for me, <laughs> yeah, oh, love my guy, man, love is love. My guy, man, what's going on, man? Man, shit is working, man, working. You yeah, know, man. You know how it is, man. Just came back from New York, man. We was out summer jam, networking real heavy. Yeah, you know, had a couple video shoots out there. Right, you know, put in some work out there. Got the merch out there and. The, Couple new contacts out there, right. and you know me, man. You know, work. stay working, right, stay right. working, stay performing. Delete you know that. what I'm saying? He Delete headlining that. with your favorite headliners at every right. show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That. Out here working, man. So, how long have you been, you know, doing the music thing? Man, I've been doing music like seriously since like 2008, and uh, I just I took I like took a hiatus. I stopped rapping for like two and a half years. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, just you know, because I was in a group. Uh, you know, you on VA, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, shout out to all my brothers. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And uh, so, 2008 to 2010, we was going real hard, man. I'm in a, I'm in a uh, goddamn uh, source April issue 2008. You know what I'm saying? Oh what? So, yeah, hell yeah. You go back to the archives, get you, get you the uh, the April issue of the uh, other source in 2008 with Lil Wayne on the cover. I'm on the second page in that motherfucker. Oh shit. You cussing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We go, yeah, 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 man. So I've been doing this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I just I, like fell back for a couple years because at the end of the day, like I said, I was in a group, and, right? And I was the one that took it the less serious out of everybody. But then, for you know what I'm saying, a lot of people w- w- was asking, man, why you stop rapping, man? Woo, 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 whatever, whatever. So I just hopped back into the mix as a solo artist. And right, right, right. I, I, I was, you know, really, really lucky to be able to still have that same spark. Right, 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 right. Uh, where, where did the passion come from? Man, I mean, I, I love music, man, at the end of the How, day. I mean, is, is, a, is a family thing? Is just, I mean, was, uh, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Afghanistan. Whew. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm Afghan. You know what I'm saying? From the mud for real. So you you were, you were born and raised out there? Or you, you nah, I was born in Afghanistan. I was two months old. My parents literally smuggled me to America. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like I could write a book about, you know what I'm saying, the first two months of my life I don't even know about. So you know what I'm saying? Did people know this? Or this is like I mean, the first time you Nah, you, not, I mean, a couple interviews, you know what I'm saying, they, that I did, you know what I'm saying, they asked about it, I let them know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't get it confused. I'm a citizen now and all that. Right, but, right, right. But right. you know what I'm saying? I had, <laughs> I had to take the little test or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Back in the G, like, I was 13. I had called a little bullshit-ass felony that was trying to deport me. And, uh, and you know what I'm saying? That's when I found out I wasn't even a citizen. I'm like, Mom, uh, what the fuck going <laughs> on, y'all? Right, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to take my ass back home. I ain't never been in my life at that time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the lawyer was like, go become a citizen. They're going to drop it down to a little bullshit ass, you know what I'm saying? A little right. B&E, whatever. You know, young kids wilding, whatever. Right, whatever. right, 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 but, uh, right, right, right. Yeah, nah, like, I was literally, like, smuggled out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. you know, it was crazy because at the time, my country was going to war. And couldn't nobody get out the country. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my father, real life, had me in a motherfucking duffel bag. Damn. <laughs> Where, where's your father right now? Uh, my father, he cooling. You know what I'm saying? Like, he the one that established the shop. My father had a shop back home. You know what I'm okay. saying? My whole family is, you know, the cars. Hustlers. Yeah, yeah. Like, they all always worked on cars. So I always grew up, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the, yeah. And, uh, you know, they literally had to leave everything uh, and, and come here with absolutely nothing. Now, we already had family out in Alexandria. Right. I had family in Alexandria. I had family out in New York. And we came down here and we stayed with my uncle in Alexandria for, you know what I'm saying, a couple years and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like 10 of us in a two-bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Dang. So I know the struggle. I know about, you know what I'm saying, sleeping in that bunk bed and my cousin sleeping one way and his stinking ass feet all in my face and I'm sleeping <laughs> the other way. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I know what it's like to have right. absolutely nothing, man. So that's why I grind so hard. Right, you know right, 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 right. Your parents have expressed to you, um, I'm, aside from getting away from poverty, I'm Jamaican, so I know all about, like, we trying to move to another country and, you know, trying to establish ourselves and stuff like that. Right, right. Did, they ever, did you ever had a conversation with them, say, you know, what was the reason why you chose America? You know, why you chose to come to America versus going to, like, UK? Well, there, there's small nah. islands in the Caribbean. Never. Well, 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 I mean, for real, I've, I've never uh, specifically asked them that question. I just knew that um, <clears throat> that we are, that they already had... Uh, People's family here, uh, yeah. Okay, like okay, my mother's, okay. you know what I'm saying. Like, like I said, my mother's uh, 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 sister, her, her older sister, is who we live with, right, in right, Ale right, in Alexandria, right, when we first came out here, and uh, you know what I'm saying. So that that was like the closest person to, I guess, my mother, right, and at, at that time before we left, right. So they just felt, you know what I'm saying. And I guess you know. Uh, they reached out like if y'all ever come out here, we got you know right, right, fam, right, or whatever, whatever, right. right. Yeah, you, you go back Afghanistan often? Man, hell nah, man. Never been back, man. You fuck around, and get your ass blowed up, dog. <laughs> and I'm dead ass serious. I, I went, mean, I mean, yeah, I know you being man, real. I went out there one time in 2008. I was out there for one week. My little cousin got married, and I really have almost got smoked. If I ain't knew my language. I would have got smoked, you know what I'm saying? Because what oh, it is, shit. is a lot of people from like Germany or the UK and just other, you know, European countries will come and, and, and do like documentaries and mm. or, or some type of wild mm. shit and, and, and like, you know what I'm saying, get all this uh, uh, exposure for, uh, of the country right. and then bring it back. And, and, and broadcast all this, you know what I'm saying, negativity and all this poverty, which yeah. which, which was is, was what's going on, but they're not helping nobody. Right, you know right, what I'm right, 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 right. So Making money off our story. Yeah, right so here, they'll yeah. come out there with their cameraman, woo, 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 get whatever they need and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So I was out there jump, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm out there rocking Sabiato. I'm looking clean as shit, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So they looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, he don't look like he's from around here. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They, they right, thought, right, right, they right. They thought right. like I was from like, you know, from the UK or whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it just so happened that I know my language fluently. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, so I wonder who's calling. It's, Call it your links. Hello? Right. Yeah, but that's 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 pretty pretty um uh, just Paul calling. What the hell's going on? Yeah, but that's that's pretty um that's that's a story. <clears> but yeah, intense. you got you gotta write a book, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta you gotta you write do. a book. My you mother really gotta write a book for real. Right. Cause she the one that really, you know what I'm saying? Tells you these stories. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's that is like so, you would never like know. 
You know what I'm saying? Nah. You never know people's story. Yeah. I, when you walk in here, I didn't think you was from Afghanistan. Yeah, you know you know probably thought I was some Mexican or something. Right? <laughs> 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 no, shout out to my <laughs> Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to the plug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, you, your, your parents, they know you're rapping and doing music right oh, yeah, now? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. How, how do you feel I, about I, that? Yeah, I, Oh man, you know my mother. She's fully supported. My father think I'm wasting my time. That's why mm-hmm. dad. Yeah, dads, dads are always yeah. the hardest. Yeah. yeah. So let me uh, let me ask you a question. You one of the artists around here that actually kind of get along with everybody. You're not one of the artists that like, even if somebody really wanted to hate on you, they really can't. So what kind of what kind of what kind of what what made you operate like that in a with the area being a in a crab crab in a barrel mentality man, as it is. I mean for real, for real. Like the way I operate, man, like it's to me, I mean, love is love, man. Like mm-hmm. I feel like if you hate me, you don't like yourself, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very transparent person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no straddling the fence with me. You know what I'm saying? And people mm-hmm. know that. Like I either fuck with you the long way or I don't fuck with you at, at all. all. Yeah. Right. You Word, know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so it ain't no cut cards with me. And I mean, mm-hmm. I weigh my emotions on my sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, and, and, and you ain't got no choice but to respect it because that's how mm-hmm. I rock. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Mm-hmm. So you know, and for the most part, man, I get along with everybody. So, so how how do you what what makes you feel like what what let me get let me get the wording right. Um, <clears throat> your longevity. What 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 gives you the the drive that that you have that you've been able to stay consistent. With making good music and putting out, you know, good material for so long, and actually been able to stay relevant in a in a in a small, you know, in, in this area. I mean, you gotta be able to just at the end of the day, you know, you gotta have tough skin, man. You gotta, you know, just be active. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you know, this shit, you know, ninety percent grind, ten percent talent. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talented motherfuckers out here. You know what I'm saying? So, what was your first break? What would you consider your first break? Shit, my first break was uh, uh, when we did a uh, uh, the uh, the little um, competition for the sauce. Mm-hmm. It was uh, in Silver Springs mm-hmm. in 2008. Mm-hmm. Me and my squad, you know what I'm saying? They had a little uh, competition for the Source magazine. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying, whoever won, uh, they get to uh, be in the Source. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we killed that motherfucker, man. Mm-hmm. We, we was like, you know what I'm saying, 40 deep, 50 deep Dang. in Silver Springs. And then from there, when we won the, uh, the little Joan out there, we uh, they, they uh, took us to, uh, they, they, they gave us a show in, in Manhattan in front of some A&Rs and all this other shit. So, man, we took, literally, we took two bus full, two Greyhounds full of motherfuckers from D.C., Maryland, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody had on the same shit. Everybody had on official grind shirts. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's our label, official grind ENT. And now I'm rocking with my man, B.O.B. 2, Grizzly Gang ENT in conjunction and all that. Mm. Yeah, so we literally took like 150 motherfuckers in the middle of Manhattan, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, hopped out. Fucked up the show. We throwing money. You know what I'm saying? We we was out there, you know, showing our ass. Right. And right. motherfucking A and R's was on our line, like heavy. You know what I'm saying? And what well, happened with that? Well, at the end of the day, you know, we was already getting money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, we was blessed. We was out here working, doing whatever, whatever. We was all right, and we had access to you know a uh, entertainment lawyer. Like we real live had you know. Uh, uh, we sat down with Puff. We sat down with some real big dogs. You know what I'm saying? And the contracts was <laughs> raping you records, Jones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, we like, man, we don't need to say this shit because we real live. We would, we would like, for example, before Echo Stage was Echo Stage, uh, it was uh, uh, the DC Tunnel. tunnel. The, the and tunnel. before that, it was like Club Envy or some shit like that. Right, mm-hmm. right. We was like one of the first people who brought Jim Jones to town when he just dropped the ball in Jones. We would pay, wow. him, we would pay him the bag, and we would control the whole door. And we would open up for him. So at the end of the day, they like, damn. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We did that with like with him. We did that to, with, with, with with Bun B, with uh, Wale, whoever was cranking at the time. We just throw them the bag. You know what I'm saying? Throw the bag to the promoter. We would have the door, and we would just be the the act, the only act along with the other act. The main act. Right, 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 right. So that's what kind of like catapulted us. To you know, what I'm saying uh, upper echelon in the area. You so know what's what going on with the group so right now? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me ask you a question because you're one of the artists here that work. Not not only do you 
have good music, but you act like you actually work your singles, you work your records. Got to. Where where did you get that mentality from? Because a lot of artists don't oh, do that. My pops, man, my pops, man, my motherfucker father like damn near seventy and still be at the shop. Turn the wrenches, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like so, that's most the most important thing, working the record or the record? You said what now? Do you feel like that? What what do you, what do you feel is most important, the actual record uh-huh. or the work behind the record? Or uh, do it both? Does? Both. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I have a real good, solid camp behind me. I don't have no yes men. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so at the end of the day, it might be certain songs where I might think it's cranking. I'll be psyched off the shit. And I let my man B.O.B. hit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Just Fall Out. Just Fall in the building? Yeah. All right, cool. I might let my man cool. hit. And he might be like, man, that shit garbage, man. Get your ass back in. You know what I'm mean, <laughs> right, 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 right. So, you know, you got to have a, a, a strong squad behind you that, that don't. Let no 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 bullshit come through the exactly exactly. I got you. I got and on top you. of that, you just and once once the camp everybody agrees that okay this joint is a banger, then everybody gotta play their position. You right, know what right, I'm right, right, have, right. You can't have no. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? Respect to everybody, but at the end of the day, like I like you know what I'm saying, Allen Iverson can't play center. And Shaq can't play point guard. Right. But they both all stars. They both superstars. Right, right. So, you know, we all respect each other amongst our squad as superstars and we understand our position. Right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, even with me, even like the platform that I am on right now, yeah. I still have no problem going to the fucking club with flyers handing out my shit. Whoa, that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, yeah, that's, that's. Posters. I still be on guerrilla marketing, dog. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Yeah, I still print up a hundred posters and flood Georgia Ave. You know what I'm saying? Really? Hell yeah! Damn, <laughs> you might, I fuck with you. You might fuck around. I might, the? You might only see my posters because ain't nobody else doing, doing it. Shit. Right, you right. Real shit. Real, yeah. shit. real shit. Real shit. Real shit. I know they're gonna tear that motherfucker down the next day, but guess, guess what? what? It's just gonna be back up <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Straight real up. shit. And for real, for real, I, since I started noticing that shit, I tell my mans, you know, go post on the block. Before these bammers rip the shit down, you take them down. We're going to put them back up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. Like yeah, that. yeah, 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 real shit. Yeah. When, when we come back, I want to know um, what, what, what is your, um, your current expectation from the game? Okay. We're going to take a break. All right, it's about. And when we get back, I want to know what you, what you, uh, all this hard work and, you know, strategy and marketing. It's something like you're a marketing genius. So I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, you, that's man. what it sounds I'll like. Work, yeah. So work. when we get back, I want to know what you ex- why, why why you're doing this and what your expectation is, what the return you, you're expecting from all of the work and the market and the time yeah, you absolutely. put into this. Expect to get all right, out of it. we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. Culture links. All right. Let's get it. Snake in the motherfucking house. It is snake. Like where you get that name come from? Because you know when people think of a snake, they don't think about good stuff. Yeah, nah, you know nah, what I'm I feel saying? you. I feel you. But nah, I used to go by Snake Ass when I was younger, and that name was Jai Saturated. And you know you said so, snake ass? Snake eyes. Snake oh eyes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, snake eyes, you know what I'm saying? But um from my man's put the interstate on it because I used to always, you know what I'm saying, be on the I nine five quarter just moving with my music. Okay. So we just took the you know yeah, what I'm saying, the interstate, interstate and just put it with a snake, you know what I'm saying? Oh. But now nah, people who know me, man, they know I give I give my shirt off my back, man. Shame yeah. Nothing, man. Not yeah. a snake at all in the in yeah. the sense yeah. of the word. Yeah, yeah, at all, man. At, at all, all, yo. No. At all, so, brother. I want to get back to the question of what um what, what your expectation is um uh, from this game. Like you're putting a whole lot of work, you're putting a lot in the line right now, a lot of money. Right. Most importantly, time. Um, you can go off and go sort of based on what you what you're expressing to me. You can go off and sort of barber shop or dealership or what the fuck ever you want to. You can Absolutely. go and make, invest in some shit that you got. You got you can kick your feet up and go vacation for the rest of your life. That's what it sounds like. You feel me? Yeah. yeah uh, with the mentality yeah. and the, the money you have behind what you're doing right now, right? Right. Right. So, wh- wh- what is the expectation? Because obviously you invest in a whole lot, again, a lot into this shit. So wh- right. what do you, so when you go home tonight, right, right, and there's no one, like nobody, I'm not sure who you, you live with or your wife, family. I'm, right, right, When right. you are in your, your, your peaceful place, you're like, okay, this is what I expect right. from everything I'm doing right now. What is the expectation from the game? Man, at the end of the day, I mean, with me, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, I, I, I mean, first and foremost, I love the game. You know what I'm saying? I love the music. And I, you know what I'm the saying? The music or the hustle? It sounds like the hustle to me. I mean, the music and the hustle, for real, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I am a, a, a student of the game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I, you know what I'm saying? I take pride in, 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 in the craft and the culture. Mm-hmm. You know, no disrespect to these young cats coming up in the game getting money, but a lot of these cats in the game, they don't, 
they don't, you know what I'm saying, respect the culture of the, of the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a certain respect, like a certain respect factor that I feel that's missing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so to me, at the end of the day, man, I love, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, me, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in such a blessed position to have people that, that, that really believe in me, and and they, they are striving to get to that next level just as much as I am. That you know what I'm saying? I feel like. With my background and what I bring to the game, I'm you know in my whole lane. I'm just smooth selling, and all I gotta do is just just keep making powerful music to people for people to vibe to, right. vibe to. Right, you right, know right. what I'm saying? Because right. I mean, I feel like I can, I can make any type of song that's out here. You know what I'm saying? You want you want vibe out. You know, smoke music, wild out music, party music, turn up music, chill music. I can do it all. So, right. No. So so you, so you you ex, what you expect respect money, I mean all um, of the above uh, iconic le- legendary. What do you ex, what is the, the, the top of the um the, uh, the like you know again what is what is I mean you I want definitely I definitely want to be a legend in this game you know okay. what I'm saying I want my motherfucking name to ring bells in this bitch. You want an Ice Cube? Want a star? Yeah hell yeah I'm yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, my yeah. damn star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying all that shit. You know what I'm saying <laughs> shit ain't free. I, yeah <laughs> hell nah. Yeah. I mean I, I I mean I expect all that because I grind. You know what I'm saying. So at the end of the day you know it's like what you what you put in is what you going to get out. Right, you right, know, right, right, like right. The, the respect factor's already there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like ain't you know, ain't no skeletons in my claws, and ain't nothing a motherfucker can bring up on some old other shit. Right. They know what it is with me. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. They, they know like what I do and how much I give back to the community and this, that, and the third. Like you know, at the end of the day, you know, to me, it's like I do a lot of things off the strength. You know, I, I give back to the to the people, and you know, I, I'll do a little. Uh, Little runs and hit up the city and feed the homeless and this dope, that and the dope, third dope, and dope. I, but and when I do shit like that I don't never put it on Instagram mm. I don't never walk around with a camera man you know what I'm saying because I'm like young ain't no motherfucking homeless motherfucker trying to be on the camera right <laughs> right, right, right 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 this man fucked up right, you know what I'm saying right, right. so it's, it's a, at the end of the day I, I do it off the love you know what I'm saying so how, how do you feel about the DMV music scene right this present moment. I mean, it's, you think it's, it's healthy? Moving. or you think it's, it's how, how you feel about it right now? I mean, you know the DMV man. You know it's it's definitely moving towards the right direction. Okay. okay, I feel like you know it's definitely some good music coming out, and and you know we we starting to get you know uh, uh, just due diligence as far as you know the light shining on us and all that. It's it's it's, it's, right, it's right, coming right, it's right. coming around, man. I just wish that at the end of the day, you know it it'll be more. You know, uh, unification. Okay. And, and, uh-huh. and, okay. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Because right. it's, it's a lot. Of, what can be done in that in that sense? What do you think? Do you think you do feel you that think? way because you're not originally? God damn it, oh, Sid. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm yeah, sorry. you you did. Okay, let's just be very clear because you I'm did sorry. do it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. It, you made me forget my goddamn question. <laughs> nah, nah, you about to say. <laughs> nah, you about to say. You about to say. Uh, what, what could be done? Right. To what can be it? done? So you said you you feel as though it, it could be more unification when yeah, it comes to the different um yeah. when it comes to the people you know the different artists and all that in the DMV. What can be done on your part and your camp? And you connecting with other people in other industries and other entertainment companies to kind of make that that what can be done is people need to realize who the fuck they really are versus who they think they are. Okay, is what needs to be done. Okay, you know what I'm so it's like a self check thing. You yeah, feel like, like people I, need to it, really it, check it themselves. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, people need to recognize they, who they are and be who they are. Yeah, they need Simple. to recognize. Yeah, straight up, and they need to. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Understand what's the bigger picture. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't reached out to certain artists in the area. You know what I'm saying to try bridge certain gaps and right. stand the third. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have certain cash looking at me like I need to pay their hands for a feature. And I'm like Slim. I'm getting worldwide spins, Holmes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got mm-hmm. two songs of regular rotation right now, not to toot my own horn, but beat. Beat, beat. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, no, let day, it know. Let I'm, it be I'm, known. I'm reaching out, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, I don't know, man. You know, at the end of the day, it boils down to, like I said, it, it's just the, the way the fucking ball bounce, the cookie crumble. You, you don't think saying? it's a, you don't think it's a, a thing of like people mind just just not being mature enough, understanding the business aspect yeah, of absolutely. the business. That's, that's what I think it is, you yeah. know. And uh, the ego getting in front of the um the the, the maturity of their minds and just absolutely. fuck everything up. 
Absolutely, yeah. you hit the nail on so, the head. So, so is it hard to hold on, Chris? I want I, it's actually to to both of you all because you said the ego part. So is it really hard to be humble in this in this game? Because I'm 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 ignorant at this point. You right, know what I'm right, saying? So right. is it hard to be humble in this game? Because at this point, you. If you put on the humble face, or if right. you put on a sense of humility, you feel like that's you're you're you're, you're gambling with being taken advantage of. Yeah, so how do you find that balance? And this is a both for you in the uh, snake right. eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and you press like how how do you think that you know people can actually find that balance without you know being. Um, a humble person and not being such an asshole or egotistical without I mean, being take you know being felt they're not going to be taken advantage like, of. Like, like, I mean, that's the least of my worries. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to make it do what it do. Right. You know I, I think I think you said it though. You know when you suffer, like I can talk to you as a person. When I text you or call you, mm-hmm. I'm not calling you as an artist. Fuck that shit. If I know right, you, right, I fuck right. with you, I'm calling you as a man. Exactly. If I said let's do X Y Z, right? See, when you get in the booth, you got out that ego. Right, it's a right, separation right. thing they don't understand. So they think like mm-hmm. I'm in the booth. I'm, yeah, I'm that blah blah. I got yeah. hit blah blah. Like he said, he got two records in rotation, but he's sitting right here talking to us and being humble and talk. Brought it's us Drake. Love. The nigga brought us like two bottles of Hennessy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's we all love, celebrities man. and artists who who in this game who's getting money and moving doing and, numbers. Uh-huh. Right. They get shit free. Right. And it says Snake brought a shoe bottle of Hennessy. That tells you where his mentality is mm-hmm, at. Mm-hmm. So love. The guys man. here, they feel okay. You know what? I got one song. I got. Somebody does we retweet J. Cole, retweet my blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, nigga, you keep that shit in the booth. J. Cole, right. respect your, your artistry and you keep that in right, music. Right, but as a person, music you need like, to keep that separate. I, we, do, we, we do music, and I'm telling you right now, if I do a song with him, I'm trying to eat him up. He trying right. to kill me too. That Believe You that. keep that shit on You keep wax. that competition, yeah. yeah. But if I get yeah. out of the booth and say, yo, let's go do X, Y, Z, or I need some, or my, my tire is flat, or I see you outside, it's raining outside, I'm riding down the street. Nah, right. it's going to feel like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm too good. I'm not, yeah, he's you, still you putting that. posters. He's a person. Yeah, yeah. He's a person. so you gotta be so able to separate that, the artists from, from the, the man. Per, that, you know yeah, they, they can't. You said it the best. They yeah. can't identify who they are. Yeah. Okay, so they feel like that character as an artist, like yeah. they're still in the movie. No, my nigga, right. that was they was recording you. You was doing a movie, nigga. Come back yeah. to reality. Come right, on, right, right. a lot of these Got catches, uh, a lot of these they catches stick. are imitating their life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it is. Like with me, man, ain't no cause. Like I said, if I show love, it's love. No, simple. I'm the same motherfucker that I am. Uh, uh, on a regular basis that I am in the booth, but when I get in the booth, y'all gonna talk that talk. Right, you, know you gotta, you have your but knee. Yeah. At the end of the day, this shit is authentic. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you gotta have yeah. that. I'm the shit to, to yeah. get that energy and vibe to exactly. connect with people yeah. to make them believe in you. Yeah. Feel me? There always gotta be some seasoning put on that. You yeah. can't go in there talking like, yeah, I'm blah blah. Anybody, nobody going. Right, nah, we right. need some energy. We need some yeah, swag. We need, we need some exactly. You feel yeah. I me? Mean? So that's yeah. where that character comes in play. Uh-huh. But when Absolutely. I come talk to you, you ain't gotta be talking like yo, like yo. You know, I'm <laughs> nah. Come so, on, bro. so you feel like a lot of people try to keep a, a facade up when Absolutely. it comes to yep. the, when they try to connect that. Yeah. Music or their lyrics nah, to how definitely. they feel. Okay. Yep. Definitely. Okay. Yep. And okay. that and that fails everything. No they, they end up feeling because that's not them, and eventually, um, the truth reveal itself. They, and that's they, why I was going to say because they, at some point, keeping up a fugazi facade will catch up with oh, you. Oh, smoke and mirrors going to fade that's, soon. And, and that's when that's I going to exactly. fade soon. You can ask so, my man, big shit, yeah. man. Yeah. We will. We will come to the club. Unannounced and pop five bottles and not even drink all four the time, of them. All, you know all, all the time, yeah, and all just show up. We're, we're like, all I don't even, I don't even like champagne. I will buy the shit because you know what I'm saying. The, the chicks like it. You know what I'm saying. And I give away four bottles and drink one because it's still there. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about showing love and being, you know, who you really so are. Enough, so not enough about the business, man. Who were some of your musical influences growing up? Oh who, man, you know I came. Back into the, let's get back I, into I, I came from that from that cloth, man. I came from that from that Nas, that 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 Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Growing up listening to you know Scarface and you know real hip hop. So as an old as a as a uh, as a fan of older or more. What we, what we would feel is more the golden era. Well, more <laughs> more traditional hip hop. What do you feel about the 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 double XL cover now and the, the rappers that we have? I ain't mad at it, man. I ain't mad at these <clears> little <throat> youngest, man. You know what I'm saying? That just shows that a lot of these rappers, y'all getting old, man. Get y'all asses out the game if y'all mad at these little niggas, man. Right. I ain't mad at it at all, dog. I look at it as at the end of the day, that shit don't. 
uh, uh, affect what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they music is, I, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole nother genre of, 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 of rap or hip hop. To me, that's like uh, um, urban uh, alternative music. Okay. That you don't that saying? don't even dictate. I mean, who you are as a, um exactly. A, it don't interfere I, with you. I ain't you mad at these little youngest man. Get yeah. y'all get y'all shut yeah. up, man. Just at the end of the day, just respect the culture, man. That's yeah. all. Who you listening to now? See, right now, um, you know, I, I'm listening. I like I like uh, you know, I like Jeezy, Gaddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Money Bag Yo. We we gonna be live at Bliss July 15th with Money Bag Yo. You know what I'm saying? We we doing a show with him oh, on, on the 15th. Um, I'm listening to him. I like um, who who else out there? I mean, I like the J. Coles of the industry. I like what Kendrick doing. Who's in your yeah. seated player? Your car right now? Who's in your deck right now? Shit, man. Right now, man. I'm like um, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm playing that new Ross right now. Okay, that mm-hmm. that shit y'all cranking. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice, 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 yeah, nice. I like nice. I like that new Ross. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we gonna <laughs> so, no, go play a record. Uh, I got a question before we get out of here. Where you made me forget just that quick. Good. Joy, Next. Car- <laughs> now you know how it feels. <laughs> you know Joy love that. She like it. We go. We go. We going to play. We going to play I'm cooking. Let's we going to play I'm, I'm cooking. cooking. Wrong, man. We going to play I'm cooking. We going to come right back, man. Let's we back. It. We'll come back with Just Sparto. No, we got. Well, so we gonna close out with him. We gonna close out with him. We gonna do yeah, it. We got. We gotta got, got bring him back. Cause he got a lot of shit. We, we got to dig deeper. All right. All right. Yes, All right so let me. Yes. Before you get up out of here. Before you get up out of here, what's next for Mr. Water Whipping? Man, the next project I'm dropping is a joint called Afghanimal. And I'm I'm just getting back to the to the to the, <laughs> right. Yeah. What's the name of Afga- Afghanimo? Afghanimo. That's lit. Yeah. What's, okay, so what's that name come from? What's I mean, it? oh, we gonna wait till the project come out, then we gonna give you. We a gonna bring to you come back. back. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah real talk, talk. Real talk. Yeah. We wanna yeah. know so, about so, that. So where can the people? Um, real quick, where can the people? We need you to do two things. Where the people can follow you on social media, and we need you to introduce this thing. Um, your song gotcha, that's sitting gotcha. right here. All my handles is at Interstate Snake. Um, my my Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Follow me on that YouTube, and uh, make sure y'all get on that uh, that www.weoutcherepersonally.com. Get that apparel. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all shirts up, man. Get y'all fly up, man. Them shits is flying right now. I need an assistant or something, man. I'm backed up about 200 orders right now, and I got y'all. I promise Damn. y'all, man. Yeah, shit crazy, man. That we out here personally is going crazy right now. Um, but um, yeah, pretty much, man. Interstate at Interstate Snake. That's all my handles, man. Make sure y'all y'all request that I'm cooking. That say what's up, you know. And and, and salute to everybody out here on their grind, man. Salute to the whole official grind, the whole Grizzly gang, you know, the whole Woodbridge VA. That's where I'm from. And uh, we just, you know, we gonna keep it rocking like a cut off stocking, baby. And the record we're playing right now? It's called I'm Cooking, featuring my brother Doughboy the Digging. All right. Cooking. Thanks All right, for coming it. through. Thank you. So, salute. Appreciate y'all. Bring it back. Bring it back. Sell the DJ. Bring it back. Bring it back. I'm cooking. 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 I'm coo